Vine, I'll see you in court. I suggest you take cover, sir. Alright y'all, it's time for part 2 of Gears of War Judgment. In the last episode, Lieutenant Baird and Kilo's squad found that they were up against a locust general named Karn in Karn's Mount, which is a big huge spider crab thing. All locust monsters are just insects and crustaceans smashed together. Sophia tells the squad that there is a low yield, light mass bomb at Onyx base. They go and set the bomb up. And Colonel Loomis, their superior, says don't do it, and they do it anyway. And now they are fighting off Karn's elite guard. I wonder how they found out that that's where they were. I thought if we killed Karn, the grubs would just stop fighting. I guess this war is going to make a pessimist out of me yet. Look, Karn needed to die. If that was the wrong call, Colonel, you can go ahead and shoot me. So with Karn's elite guard heading Kilo's way, they have no choice but to play defense. It was a crazy battle too. Stay on that island, Lieutenant. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Kong. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We save, what, a thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions. I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone. Anyway, the crew shoots up that big empty building made for a last stand, and then shoots their way through the other parts of the building. Once they get outside, they see the ramifications of the light mass bomb. The helicopter is the raven they need to get to. Kilo starts to descend down the staircase when... Okay. Colonel, where did you come from? I was killing all the grubs you missed. So Loomis is about that life. Why did he leave Kilo Squad though? Colonel, are we getting on that Raven so you can 
can actually shoot us somewhere else? So if Karn isn't dead, then does that mean they wasted the bomb? Anyway, it's time for the team up that you've been waiting for. Kilo Squad and Colonel Loomis versus Karn and his weird spider-like crab thingy. It's as long a battle as they said it would be. Anyway, that's the plot summary. Here's the ending. There's a difference between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah, why should all these brains be wasted on an officer, sir? Private. <laughs> Never. Hmm. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. There's a difference. Oh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. <laughs> Perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs> yeah, I think we might. Good. Just check. <laughs> All right, Neos, that was the plot summary of the first half of Gears of War Judgment. It was kind of a good story. It was a little more self-contained than the usual stories. And Kilo Squidod didn't really leave the city. I was a little confused because they said that they went to the Onyx base and took a boat. But from inside the base, Marcus told Anya that the hour wasn't good enough. And Cole said that they could make it there sooner, but by what unit of measurement were they talking about? They fought their way back to the water, traveled by boat, and then traveled through the streets on rooftop. That's like an hour and a half real-time work for me. Also, I thought it was interesting how the light mask bomb worked. Use smaller missiles to lighten up the crust of the ground so it could drive deeper when it lands. And they didn't show that in the first gears. Okay, so on to the next episode, Aftermath. This one takes place during Gears 3. At Anvil's Gate, the gears split up, and then after they meet back at Azure Island, right after Marcus and company shut down the Maelstrom device. There you go, Azura. No pictures, but plenty of data and maps. Knock yourself out. But it's an island. How the hell do you hide an island? It's some kind of shielding device. Wow, an artificial hurricane around the island. It looks like the only way in is to go under it. Well, there's an old sub laid up at the shipyard in Endeavor. All right. Baird, Cole, you go find reinforcements. Sub or no sub, we'll be screwed if we don't get some backup. We need transport, weapons, and anyone who can fight. I know one place we can look. I'm not going back there. So Baird, Cole, and Carmine end up at Halvo Bay, the same place from the Judgment story. <sighs> Hate this stupid city. 
What's his problem? Long story. Only cog soldiers are this noisy. Haddock? That sidearm can go back where you found it. We need some help. And a boat. Then come with me. It always weirds me out how Gears just show up and ask for food and transport without anything to barter in return. It doesn't take long before they notice a big ass emulsion rig embedded in the landscape. How did that get there? Tidal wave. After you sank Jacinto. The wave was 20 stories high. Carried it in from offshore. That's where we're headed. That your place? For the moment, yeah. They get spotted by a locust guy who runs and tells all of his friends and now the gears got a fight. The locusts try to ambush the gears over and over again until they finally get tired, and try to bury them in the side of a mountain. What the hell is he? Everybody move now! We're going forward? Quick! Into the service station at the bottom of the street! Go! Go! Bobby Weave! Bobby Weave! Go! Go! As they reach the base camp, things are a little too quiet as Paddock notices that the things that should be making noise, like people, generators, and a bunch of other things are just not going off right now. The situation gets very gruesome once the Gears notice that there's people speckled all over the place that have unalived themselves. It can't be the locusts that do this because Gears are trained to fight locusts. This just got worse. Emulsion guys. Those are citizens, aren't they? Well, now we know why the locusts are around. The gears being there just happens to be a coinky dink, right? Anyway, the gears make it to the rig and find out that the rig sprung a serious leak and left a bunch of people trapped at the bottom. The crew runs to the locker and gets the gas masks and head towards the top of the rig. On the way, they get a message from one of the last survivors. The emulsion leak got worse and people started getting sick. Doc thinks it's a virus of some kind. As of tonight, we've got almost 150 casualties. Yikes. The rest of us have moved offshore. Major Paddock is still unaccounted for. If you're listening to this, head to the main deck and fire the flare gun. If we can, we'll come for you. Once they got out of that emulsion chamber, they got the all clear to take those masks off. I would have kept mine on for sure. You stop a lamb at anything, they explode everywhere. There's no way I would want any of that to land on any part of my body. So the gears get to the top of the rig and shoot off the flare, which notifies the offshore guys to bring the evac raven. Unfortunately, it notifies everyone else. After some pure chaos, the crew survive and make it to the raven. Explosives. Explosives? Why? That's the boat? I never said it was in the water. Can we have your helicopter instead? <laughs> no! <laughs> Paddock leads the gears to the building where the explosives are. Baird inquires about Sophia. Well, at least we're done what about, with all that. Uh, Sophia, I heard she left the cog to be with you. Paddock, what happened to her? If we survive, I'll tell you later. There is a Colonel Loomis statue at the building, so they pay their respects. I heard about this guy, the hero of Halvo Bay. 
Mm-hmm, that's one way of putting it. Yeah, he was a man of principle. He was also kind of a dick. Also, Paddock forgets Baird is a corporal. I assume you know how to arm these explosives, Lieutenant? Yeah, I do. Just get them placed. And don't call me that. So Baird uses his skills to activate the bombs. And by that time, the Locusts are aware of the gears and start rushing the building. After that, Kilo Squad heads outside to detonate the bombs and Anya checks in with them after Dom dies. By the way, I'm splicing Gears of War 3 footage into this one. Anya to Cole, over. Cole here. We've got the submarine running. A sun, ha <laughs> ha. That's Baz's favorite kind of toy. But you got to see what we found, baby. Whoa! Cole, please. Anya, you don't sound right. You got trouble? We're heading for Azura now. Hey, it's gonna blow. We'll rendezvous with you Come outside on. the maelstrom. It might take us some time. Oh yeah, we'll be there with some backup too. Watch your six, Cole. Anya out. Don't worry, Anya. I'll break it to them. No, you won't. I'll tell them. Watch your six, Cole. Anya out. Better call on your back. You call her back! Baird, get out of their war. Start fighting for yourself. This is pointless. All right, new plan. Come on. Once we get to the top of this building, we can cross over and reach the boat. Wow, well, what I wouldn't give for an elevator. How does a boat end up on top of a building anyway? The wave washed it up there. At the top of the building, they find they entered into the beginning of a shootout between the humans and the locusts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, who are you? Who are you? That's a boring conversation anyway. Doesn't seem that anyone other than Kilo Squad survived it. So Kilo makes their way to the top to find out that the boat is a lot bigger in person. The crew goes from human roof to locust roof until they can touch the boat. Then Baird reveals his plan to get to the restaurant in the building because he knows there will be a gas line in there. Of course, there is tons of locust resistance. It's funny because they're dropping in from the roof on ropes like it's Mission Impossible or some junk. It's like, are we even on the top floor? Isn't this your building? Like, would you guys do crawl on the ceiling and then rappel down? Like, what, what point is that for them to be coming through there? There's not even a skylight up there. It's, the, it's a kitchen. Once in the kitchen, Baird opens all the gas lines so they leak, and then... Do you have any idea what you're doing? No, not really. All right, come on, come on. Come on, let's go. This is the plan. All right, save it, Paddock. Let's go. Perfect. Up, oh, there we go. This is a pretty crazy ass sequence. Anyway, that was the second plot summary, and here's the second ending. Now to find out how seaworthy this hunk of rust really is. Someone here knows how to steer a ship, right? All right. We're gonna kill the locust, all of them, for good. That's what's at stake. This planet's ruined. Let the grubs have it. 
We've all lost people. All of us. You want to know what happened to Sophia? Kidnapped while she was out on patrol. I watched it happen through my scope. I was only able to kill one of them. He dropped these. You want to stay friends? Let's never see each other again. Times a day, I almost wanted to call you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Day's not over yet. Let's go find Marcus and Dom. Hmm. Their turn to save the day. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. My pleasure, sir. Anya to Cole. Baird? Anyone receiving? Hey! We heard that explosion five clicks out. Having fun? Baird, where are you? We in bound, baby! The Navy's here! Whoa! Bloody hell. They found the UIR. It's a Garazny ship. Yeah, we having a reunion with our old Indy buddies, baby! Time for a first of a party! You ready to roll? Whoa! Yeah, let's do it. Man, okay, that was all the Gears of War for this era. Put a bow on it. I'm sure there's a game somewhere that I need to finish, but I will cut it off there. This one was nice. Beard is a badass. The most resourceful gear in the game. And I appreciate the contrast with Marcus. In this game, Baird went pretty hard, hijacking a mass bomb in one and dislodging a full battleship in the other. Like, how do you leave for about 15 hours and then come back with a full battleship and reinforcements from Graznia? That's our boy Baird, getting shit done. And speaking of getting shit done, this plot summary is done and this playlist is done. Thanks so much for rocking with me on this one. Next month I'll think I'll go a little JRPG and finish up some DLC that should have been put in the main games that I've already made plot summaries for. Until then, you guys have saved me like Neo saved Agent Smith. Peace.